What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about iOS 10.3.2 beta and some very very bad news for the 32-bit devices being iPhone 5 and iPhone 5C because they got dropped. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to go ahead in here on the uh, firmware at uh, the, uh, the iPhone wiki and I'm going to show you that the iPhone 5 didn't receive this update, surprisingly. If you go ahead in here, you're going to see the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C and up to iOS 10.3 beta 7, which happens to be the golden master version of iOS 10.3, the final version. And um, if you are active on Twitter and you follow me, you probably have seen that I posted, that I tweeted this, quote, wait, iOS 10.3.2 beta? Did I miss iOS 10.3.1 or something? End quote. Yes, it's pretty peculiar because Apple has simply jumped, if you go ahead on iPhone 5 uh, S and up, directly to iOS 10.3.2 beta instead of making iOS 10.3.1, which would be the normal. I do not know why they skipped iOS 10.3.1 and I have absolutely no theory on it. Probably because they want iOS 10.3.1 uh, to be the uh, final version for the iPhone 5 and 5C. I do not know. Probably they want to fix exploits or they want to fix bugs. Um, there was a, a, a very bad JavaScript exploit lately on uh, the Safari that has been uh, fixed in iOS 10.3. So there are a couple of things that still need to be fixed on iOS 10.3 and probably they wanted to leave a window for them to be able to actually fix that. That doesn't mean they're not going to provide any security related patches. I do not think they simply dropped it and they're not going to touch it ever again because it's pretty peculiar to actually drop a device in the middle of some releases. Why didn't they drop it in iOS 10.3? Probably because there was the beta already created but if it was why did they create it, the beta in the first place? It has no point but such is life. Anyways the iOS 10.3.2 beta doesn't bring any features it only brings some uh, security uh, fixes some security patches, but is only available for 64-bit devices, which means the end of 32-bit. Remember back in, uh, I think it was March, uh, the last year, in, in 2016, when I told you that the iOS 10 wasn't actually supporting the iPhone 4S. We're talking about the iOS 10 beta when it first like, came out, and I told you there is no beta for the iPhone 4S, which means it's going to be dropped, and such was the case. Uh, this is probably happening again for the iPhone 5 one year later and the iPhone 5C. They're probably going to get dropped, but do not worry, you're not going to receive any more updates, probably only security updates, which are minor, but instead you're probably going to receive a jailbreak at some point, because if it's dropped, then a developer would spend his time, create a jailbreak, and then once released, Apple has less chances to go ahead back and start making again a firmware for that unsupported device that was previously dropped. So a jailbreak for the iPhone 5 that is dropped would mean probably a jailbreak forever, unless Apple has very, very much time to spend. But speaking about jailbreak, unfortunately, up on this point, 32-bit devices only have iOS 9.1 to 9.3.4 uh, jailbreak, I mean a um, more up-to-date jailbreak with mixtape player, which is this one included in Home uh, Depot, and you can download it and use it. But if you're not iOS uh, 10 point X, um, unfortunately you will not be able to jailbreak your device for the moment. Speaking about jailbreak and iOS 9.3.5 this time, that is one more day up until we see at Black Hat Asia 2017 the fried apple team's jailbreak DIY presentation that is going to be held as I said tomorrow, depending on your time zone. So keep that in mind, I'm going to keep you informed on anything that happens, so do not worry. Just wanted to give you some heads up um, about this thing, because a lot of people are going nuts thinking about the 32-bit uh, and uh, thinking about 64-bit in the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreaks. I do not know if it's going to be supporting the um, uh, iOS 9.3.5 on 32-bit, uh, but we're going to see during the presentation. Anyways, this is something I wanted to, to actually show you. You can download and install the iOS 10.3.2 beta if you want. It's available as an IPS um, W in here, but I do not know why would you do that because there are only some security patches and uh, if you're looking for jailbreak, definitely do not try to, to update to this. And if you're on, uh, on an iPhone 5, I'm pretty sorry for you. You will not be able to update 
it's not like you would like to update it with a beta, but it means the end of this beloved device. Let's just have a moment of silence for these great devices. Nah, too much. Anyways, speaking about the, uh, the updates, do not forget to stay updated by subscribing to the channel. I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens. You can check out the uh, beta portal in the description down below. It's available for anybody because it's not the official one, it's the uh, iPhone wiki. And till the next time, I'm Geo Snow. Give this video a thumb up if it helped you and peace out.